Hey, so I'm trying something a little different this year. I am going to do a video of my overview of 2022, and then I will follow it up with some blog posts. So hopefully this goes well. I have no idea. Let's try it. I will be referring to my notes. So if you see me glance down, that's why. Okay, so 2022 is going to be about looking and figuring out what the future looks like. This is a very pivotal year. It's a year of community and we have the opportunity to band together the way we did in say uh, at, on 9-11 or after the uh, Indonesian tsunami or after Fukushima. Um, but we can also just choose to continue doing whatever the fuck it is that we're doing. So, yay. Um, you know, the opportunity to do something about climate change is in the forefront of everyone's mind, hopefully. And there are some opportunities to make some shifts this year. I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, we would be well served uh, this year to put young people in charge. They, uh, they have some survival at stake more than some of the older folks. Um, and they have innovation and dedication. And they have not yet lost hope the way a lot of older folks have. So they are still looking for solutions. They would like to continue to live in a world that is livable. Um, someone is going to come up with a fast and efficient uh, carbon sink. We need to make sure that we don't use this as an excuse to continue bad behavior. And we also absolutely need to protect this person or group and the, uh, the invention itself or discovery itself from the capitalists. In a post-capitalist society, um, you know, big business is going to try to um, gobble that up and not use it for the good of humanity. And we have to make sure, absolutely have to make sure that uh, the integrity of this project is maintained and protected. Um, we may start off this year feeling a little, or 2022, start feeling a little bit like we have a hangover from 2021. And this has definitely been a year. Um, but we're going to start off the year strong, I think. It looks that way to me. Um, make no mistake, Omicron is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Uh, energetically, it looks like a real bitch. The science is out as to whether it's going to be as deadly as some of the other variants energetically does not look happy to me at all so but that being said if it is devastating it ha presents the opportunity or offers the opportunity uh, for some really substantial change now that may be in part because a lot of the deniers are not going to be around anymore or are going to get hit really hard by it and i hate to think that that is uh our opportunity for change and it might be. The first trimester of the year, uh, so into April through April, is going to be a lot about moving energy. There's going to be um, a lot of change, a lot of opportunity for manifestation. Uh, it's a doing section of the year, if you will. In May, something happens. There's, there's a dramatic stop and a cutting away of things that no longer serve. Um, August through, through December is going to have some flow again, but it's also gonna have this current of emo undercurrent of emotion and potentially grief. I'll talk about that more as I get into the months and my blog posts. Um, as far as spirit is concerned, 2022 is an important, perhaps pivotal year. I think I said that already. It has a lot of potential for vital change um it is a free will universe we can pick up the opportunity for change or we can sit back and keep doing what it is that we're doing i don't recommend it this world is going to become unlivable very quickly um <clears throat> I'll, you know i have to say when i cross reference numerology and astrology and mythology and the throws that i did for tarot there's a lot of concordance which tells me that this is a very, very strong year. Uh, for those of you who like to know these things, there's only three months in 2022 that are going to be completely untouched by any influence of Mercury retrograde. That's March, July, and November. We start off uh, January with both Uranus and Venus in retrograde, but they go direct by the end of the month. 
Saturn stations retrograde on January 4th and stays there into October. So there's going to be a lot of opportunity for examining, re-examining um, how we see structure, the structures of the world, how we see um, foundation. Um, so a lot of reimagining, revisiting, reworking. Um, and then in October, some of the forward flow may literally be because of all of the work we've done January through October. So um, that's what I got as far as an overview of the year, at least for right now. Hopefully that uh, is helpful in some way. Like I said, there will be some blog posts following up with more detail as far as the progression of the year goes. Okay, there you go.